Hey guys, this is that snazzy iPhone guy here with you today. And uh, this is the Idiot's Guide to Jailbreaking. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests uh, about jailbreaking. They want me to answer questions, and I thought it'd just be easier to make a big old long tutorial. Um, this is the first section of probably two or three. And uh, in this section, we're, it's the FAQ. We're going to talk about what you can uh, and what you cannot do, the consequences of jailbreaking, and uh, whatnot. So, um, as you look at my phone, you can immediately sense that it's been jailbroken. Um, there's the five icon dock down here. Uh, the background is different, which for those of you who have an iPhone know that you can't do that. Um, I have folders for my games, my music apps. All my applications are separated into folders. so. That's my games, and uh, I only have three pages versus the eight or nine I'd have if I hadn't unlocked. So um, there's some really cool advantages to unlocking. Um, the FAQ. All right, um, a lot of people ask me, if I jailbreak, can I revert it back to the original Apple firmware? Can I change it back to the way it was before I jailbroke it? The answer is absolutely yes. Uh, once you unlock it, um, all you have to do is restore it back to the original Apple firmware and you're set to go. Um, the people have, one guy asked me, I want to learn more about unlocking my iPhone 3G and I was like, whoa buddy, slow down. Um, as cool as it is, unlocking is not available as of right now for the iPhone 3G. Um, well, not the do-it-yourself kind. There has to be hardware modifications and all that garbage. Um, you can unlock an original 1G or 2G, whatever you call it, uh, one first generation 2G iPhone. Um, you can unlock it. Now, what is the differences between unlocking and jailbreaking? Jailbreaking is modifying the Apple firmware so that it does other things that Apple doesn't want you to do. And unlocking is, um, hello. I honestly cannot think right now. Um, unlocking is when you change this device's SIM capabilities so that it can work with other networks. So you could stick a T-Mobile uh, SIM card in there and it would work if you had unlocked your phone. Now you can't do that because the iPhone 3G doesn't, the iPhone dev team hasn't made an easy crack yet, although they do claim January of 2009 you'll be able to. So uh, those are the differences. Now, people I talk to and people that message me say, when I unlock it, I can download all the apps from the App Store for free, right? No. N not even close. Not at all. Um, jailbreaking was originally developed um, in version 1.1.1, I think, way before version 2 was. So there was no App Store. And uh, you couldn't add apps. You had these 12, it was before the iTunes store, you had 12 apps, and one was your, well, no, I guess you had the bottom, but you didn't, you could do, it was a phone, it wasn't a smartphone, it was just a regular phone with an internet browser, there weren't any apps, so the, the iPhone dev team created um, an application, they modified the firmware so that it did other things that Apple didn't want it to do. It gave it the ability to put third-party applications onto your phone, onto your device. And uh, previous to 2.0, that was impossible, unless you had jailbroken. Um, now, jailbreaking, since the app store's there, a lot of people go, well, why jailbreak? Um, because these things, as you see here already, these folders, you can't do that without jailbreaking. Apple doesn't let them into the store. They get rejected. They duplicate Apple's... Um, they duplicate Apple's... Uh, features. Uh, it's just a, it's a really a good thing to do uh, if you know what you're doing. Um, what else? Okay, so uh, for those of you who've asked the App Store, can I download apps for free? The answer is no. You can get free apps from the App Store, or not from the App Store. You can get Everything on the App Store as you see it today is what it's going to be when you jailbreak it. There's going to be two new installers that added two new App Stores, Cydia and Installer, and uh, those are their own App Stores. And uh, most of the apps are free, however, not all of them. Um, they work very similar, and uh, we'll take a view of that 
uh, in part three or four of jailbreaking. Um, so first, you're asking, do I want to jailbreak? If you're happy with the apps right now, you're happy with um, the way your phone operates, you're happy with the four icon dock, you're happy with scrolling through nine pages to get to your apps, then there's no need to jailbreak. Um, there's some cool features. I have Quick Gold. You can search any application, any contact, any web page right from the click of your button. It's uh, supposed to be Quicksilver like on the Mac, but they call it Quick Gold. <laughs> Very intuitive. Anyway, so basically for those of you who are asking, that's what a jailbreaking is. It modifies the software so that you can do other things that other iPhones, regular iPhones cannot. Um, People say, will it break my iPod? Will it break my iPhone? The answer is no. It will not do anything to your iPod or iPhone. The worst case scenario um, that people have had recently, way back when uh, there were problems with breaking it and all that stuff, but um, now the worst case scenario, it corrupts your firmware and you have to reinstall, you have to restore. So you lose all your memory, you, you lose all your contacts, you use all your music. That's why you back up. So um, I really liked it. I'm, when I get my new phone here in a couple days, I'm going to jailbreak it. I'm going to do, um, I've already jailbroken this three times, jailbroken this three times once when it was broken. And I, anyway, long story, but I can't go five days not even five days. I can't go one day without a jailbreaking phone. Jailbroken phone. Um, so it's just a really neat thing you can do. I really enjoy it. Um, if you're interested, continue to the next video. If you're not, just leave. Uh, one thing also, people said, is it okay to update? The answer is absolutely not. The iPhone dev team will tell you when it's okay to update. Um, there's a few things you have to be precautioned of when, when they're, the current version is 2.2 or 2.2. Uh, yeah, that's the current Apple firmware and the current um, jailbreak firmware is 2.2. So they're all caught up, but when Apple releases 2.3, jailbreaking is going to be still on 2.2 and you cannot upgrade or else you may break your phone and you will most definitely corrupt it and you'll have to restore. Uh, so I'm running out of time guys. This is part one of uh, jailbreaking for dummies. This is that snazzy iPhone guy, and uh, if you're interested, click video two and we'll show you how to get it onto your computer. Uh, if not, that's fine. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. This is that snazzy iPhone guy, and uh, I'm going to see you in about 20 seconds when you link to the next video. So uh, have a good one. Thanks, guys.